Hey guys, Winston at Carbide3D here. Have you ever wanted to make your own stamp on a CNC? Of course you have. Who hasn't? Milling a stamp is an interesting balancing act of material science. You need something that's just firm enough to stand up to machining, and also have a matte surface that will carry ink uniformly. While linoleum isn't as soft as most rubbers used for stamp making, it's definitely machinable and it yields just enough to conform to a little bit of unevenness in whatever you're stamping. If you want sharp details in a machine stamp, this is a reasonable candidate. To mill linoleum on a CNC isn't that difficult. You just need a nice sharp cutter and a reliable cutting recipe. Here's an example to get you started. I'm going to cut the Carbide 3D logo in a linoleum pad with two cutters, a 1 16th inch end mill and a 1 32nd inch end mill to really get into the tight corners. I'm primarily using contour and pocketing tool paths, so what you see here is applicable to both Carbide Create or Fusion 360. I'm also targeting a spindle speed of 10,000 RPM, so Nomad users can use this formula, as well as Shaboko users running the Makita router as a spindle. However, there's no reason that DeWalt router owners couldn't use the same recipe scaled up for 16,000 RPM. I'm starting with a 3D model in Fusion, but Create users can get by with a vector image. I'm going to pocket away the areas that I don't want to be included in the stamp with a 1 16th inch end mill first. My feed rate here is 30 inches per minute with a step down of 0.03 inches and a spindle RPM of 10,000. Then I'll come back with a 1 32nd inch end mill and contour around the perimeter of features that have sharp corners that are too tight for the 1 16th inch end mill to fit into. My feed rate here is 25 inches per minute with a step down of 0.02 inches and a spindle RPM of 10,000. This will leave me with an island of linoleum that can be used as a stamp. My stock here is secured to the table with just some two-sided tape. Linoleum is soft enough that you could cut way deeper, but if you do that your cuts tend to get packed with crumbly balls of linoleum. You're also imparting more cutting forces on the walls which do flex a little bit. So if you want accurate clean cuts, you should always aim to be a little gentler with your settings. Since I'm starting with a larger block of linoleum than I need, I'll cut this section out so I can reuse the other portion in the future. And that is how you can cut linoleum on a CNC. You should be able to get relatively clean edges and be able to clean off most of the linoleum clumps that are hanging on with a small stiff brush. The feeds and speeds provided here can be used as a starting point, but there's absolutely room to improvise or go faster, especially if you're using different end mills. And generally, I found better results climb cutting than I did with conventional, so if you have control over cut direction, I would start there. Additionally, software tools like Fusion or Vectrix VCarve Pro or Aspire can provide additional tool pathing options for carving more complicated designs. I hope this gives you some project ideas, good luck, and have fun machining, folks.